Virginia is facing some serious criticism. Neighbors are trying to recall Board of Supervisors Chair Ann Wheeler. They accuse her of using her position to financially benefit from data centers she had stock in. Here's Matthew Torres with more on the issue in Prince William County. For months, neighbors have fought against the Prince William Digital Gateway Project, a proposal to build data centers along Pageland Lane. They say it will disrupt the environment, wreak havoc on traffic, amplify noise, and threaten the nearby Battlefield Park. Prince William County residents do not want the Bi-County Parkway. They want the Rural Crescent. But supporters argue data centers are a boost to the economy, bringing in revenue needed for schools and housing. It's what this county needs to move into the future. We need to take advantage of the $400 million in new annual revenue that the data centers will add to the Prince William County General Fund. Before Tuesday night's supervisors meeting, the Coalition to Protect Prince William County set their eyes on the board chair by starting a petition to recall Ann Wheeler, accusing her of advocating for data centers while financially benefiting from them despite community opposition. Everything about this stinks to high heavens. You can do the community a favor, exit stage right. Their concerns stem from her financial records disclosed to the county, which reveal she invested tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars in tech and data companies. In her latest filing, she had stock in several companies, some valued between fifty and $250,000, one of them being Blackstone, which is directly connected to the Prince William Digital Gateway. You have lost the trust of the people. At the very least, recuse yourself Chair Wheeler, you are compromised. She bought this stock after becoming chair and after some of the, the developments were happening. So you, you just kind of think there's, there's something wrong there. We, we don't have the proof. A letter from another resident is asking the Commonwealth's attorney to determine if there's been any violations and conflict of interest. Wheeler has not responded to WSA 9's request for comment, but the Commonwealth's attorney's office says it can't confirm they are looking into the matter in what's yet another contentious chapter over the future of data centers in the county. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.